So I've got day phone and I'm recording the screen and we're gonna go insert from iPhone, take photo. And my screen is flipped to the photos app. Let's get out of old handsome here. Use photo. Boing. There it is. Okay, I hit done. <laughs> wow, look at that. Engineers, Logic has released a new version, 11.2, and this one's stacked with Apple Intelligence features, quote unquote, and a few other very interesting things as well. We're gonna get into it, let's get it. Perhaps most exciting to most will be the new stem splitter improvements. So here's the original track. Uh, sorry, I, I couldn't help, I was messing with the uh, Logic drummer. <laughs> so let's split this thing out. It's very easy, you just right click and we choose the stem splitter. Now you have more choices to isolate more instruments and there are more choices you can make and we'll get to that in a second. This is sped up 800% by the way. I think Apple has also tweaked the algorithms. These stems sound really, really good. We don't get that mp3-ish kind of artifacting going on at all with these. But here at Dollhouse Studios, we trust, but verify. Let's do a null test. Okay, so let's see how this turns out for accuracy. I've got the original and the stems. I'm only running the gain plugin to flip phase. So let's see how they cancel out. All right, pretty good. Oh, not so good up top. Kind of like 5K and up is not canceling out. Start was though. I mean, am I missing something? Everything's at zero dB. It doesn't like um, the top frequencies, so they do not cancel out. So keep this in mind. If you did need to remaster a track and all you had was the two track stereo file, this would be a great solution, but you're not getting like, you know, a mastering level perfect, nulled out set of stems. But the degree of isolation here is truly impressive. So maybe it's not a solution for stem mastering, maybe it is, but what you can do with this is grab old tracks, favorite songs that you have, and rip the chords using Scalar 3. If you haven't seen my Scalar 3 video, go check that out. This thing's amazing. Look at it, find all the chords just from the acoustic guitar part. You could also instantly make uh, backing tracks for live performances, minus drums, minus guitar, rebalance it however you want. Mama's always said, you never second best. Gorgeous. Another new feature with the stem splitter is that you can choose to group any of the stems together into a submix. mix. 
I would humbly ask that you subscribe to stay in tune with all the latest in pro audio news, technology, and techniques. We're approaching a thousand subs, and I'd really appreciate a like and a subscribe. Apple has extended the capabilities of retroactive recording to the extreme now with flashback capture. Any track that you have armed to record, even if you're not recording, will be constantly recording the input. To show you this, we're going to have to do one of my least favorite things in the universe, and that's record with Logic. Sorry, Logic heads, but I can't stand recording audio in Logic. Okay, let's try this. Ding, 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 ding. Why, why, it's logic. Why are you like this? Audio, audio, input, but I'm talking about summing, recording, uh, how to record enable. Why can I hear myself? I, input monitoring is off. Input monitoring is off. It, 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 auto input monitoring is turned off. Okay, well, here we go. Time to Not recording. Lay down my Our guns. Because he loves me in a way I never know. He holds me and it's us against the world. Okay. Then shift R and look at that. Cause he loves me in a way I never know. He holds me. All right, we don't need to hear any more of me singing. So this is great. If your track is armed to record, you're going to capture everything that your singer does all the time. Recall with a hot key. Beauty. You'll be a rock star for your client. So normalization now has been given the same style of treatment as clip gain. You can non-destructively normalize your regions based on RMS, peak, set your levels. Very cool. This feature will be available in the tracks functions menu only if you have a complete features set in settings. Et voila, and normalization is non-destructive. You can just go up over to your gain slider in the inspector and tweak clip gain after normalizing. Normalization is not written to the file. New key command shift F will bring up a cute little mini spotlight window and this will allow you to search tracks shift f was already assigned in my system so i had to assign a new keyboard shortcut to it oh cool it's a little spotlight window upon searching if needed the window will move to spotlight that track okay it works as a cubase main i can't help but say welcome to 2010 but hey a great feature. So anywhere you see faders, the inline mixer, the mixer window, or the inspector, you can change your faders to be long throw faders, which is great. There's so much wasted space in the mixer and you get finer control with longer faders. This one's kind of a micro change. I'm not sure how useful this is, how many people are gonna use this, but you can pop in a fader into the main output visualizer now. You can find this in the customized toolbar menu. And this is just another representation of your master fader. As you can see, I pulled down the master fader and our new little fader goes down as well.
So I'm a little ashamed to admit, I didn't know that we now get a plug-in version of the Quantec QRS and Yardstick in Logic. <laughs> so I went down a little rabbit hole playing with this thing. It sounds fantastic. And there are some micro changes. Uh, they've remodeled the AD converters. Uh, you, ha you can drive the unit. Various little changes. Honestly, I'm just going to go play with this thing for a while. It sounded great. Changing track names will change the region name now, only if they match exactly. Depending on your recording settings, your regions might record into a new track already named in a different way, and this won't work. But pretty cool. So if you're running a chord track and you hide the chord track, you can still see the chords up top. Now they've made it so that you can move these, allegedly. But I found this to be an utter mess. When I would put my cursor up there, it would switch to grab the transport playhead. I ended up being able to move the chords, but then couldn't undo the move, and it ruined the bass track, which was following the chord track. Not impressed with this one. Okay, time for some Apple fun. They've integrated continuity with Logic and Apple Intelligence. So, to show you the Apple Intelligence thing, I tried it, Apple Intelligence wasn't turned on, I had to mess around a lot to get it to work, restart Logic, change settings, and eventually got it to work. Here I take a section of lyrics and tell Apple Intelligence to write it in a professional manner. <laughs> and it slightly alters the lyrics to be more um, professional. These features will only work in Apple Silicon Macs that are running Apple Intelligence and Continuity. Okay, Apple Intelligence is in Logic Pro in other ways. We're going to look at iPhone Continuity. So, I've got JPhone and I'm recording the screen and we're gonna go insert from iPhone take photo and my screen is flipped to the photos app let's get out of old handsome here use photo boing there it is the other feature is sketching insert from iPhone Sketch. Okay, my iPhone is flipped over to Sketch app. Go. Yes. Okay, I hit done. Okay, and on top of that, last continuity feature from iPhone, scan document. Okay, here we go, I got the back of a receipt. Okay, there we go. So you can see on a large project in a studio, you might need uh, receipts to show for expenses, for charges ways you could use this incredibly cool though and there you have it comprehensive list of all the new features in logic pro 11.2 what do you guys think you're going to use these features is it just micro stuff or is this stuff you think you're really going to look forward to using if you appreciate roundups like this make sure to like and subscribe consider joining the channel as a member for early access to lots of my videos and exclusive content and we'll see you next time. Let's get it.